Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you everything or how I um, finished this entire paper pad of 12 by 12 paper and what I did, what projects I made using this one paper pad collection. I'm gonna show you the pages that I have left because I don't intend on using them. So I have this one, this is kind of like ledger paper, which I think it, um, maybe people who do junk journals may use this. Then I have this one. Um, it has the seasons here on the side. And it's just, it's a 12 by 12 layout. I did use the other sheet that, that's exactly like this one. But I kind of just used this area right here. And I just didn't feel like cutting this one up also. And then the last page is this one. Which is also a 12 by 12 layout. Get them in, puppy. And... Um, I ended up not using it. I mean, I cut up the other sheet that's like this one, and I ended up not using it. I ended up not liking what I was trying to do. I did keep this saying right here that says, I love you in the morning, and in the afternoon, I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. But it was too big for any of, the, uh, of my projects, so I just have it there like as a cut apart. Um, the rest of this area here, I just threw away, and then this that I was going to use, I ended up not using it. I didn't want to throw these away though because maybe somebody can use them. I don't know. But I won't be using these. And those are the only sheets that I have left from this 48 sheet 12 by 12 paper pad that I got at Tuesday morning. It's called the Wallflower and I got it a few months ago. It cost me $6.99 which I don't think it's a bad deal for all the projects that I made. With this, I'm going to show you what I made. Okay, this little container here from Dollar Tree. Sorry about the movement, I'm on the coffee table. It's full of the, um, all the projects that I did. Hold on. I'm just gonna take it off again because of the shadow. Okay, so this is one of the, the altered notebooks that I did following Amber's tutorial and most of these if not all are using Amber's tutorial Amber Lyric Lover I believe is 810 and then she's Trapeze Crafts on Instagram and she has a lot of great tutorials on how to do craft her items really um, really cheap and really easy so you can mass produce these this is one of her recent um, recent videos. She usually does them around the holiday season, but she did this one, I, I think, in the spring. And I'm going to show you the notebook that I used. You can also look up her tutorial, and she'll have all the information there. But this is basically the one that I used from Dollar Tree. And I only picked up three of these. And I only used one for this collection. So here's this one is six by nine inches. And all I did was cover it with some, um, this is some cardstock. And then I did the pattern paper here and here. And then this is one of the cut parts. And it's one of the larger cut parts, which is perfect for this notebook. And then some pattern paper in the back. And here's the inside. And it's a thick one. And I just put some gem stickers up here because I didn't measure it. I didn't measure this all the way to the top on accident. And so I just put some gem stickers up here. And I think it looks pretty cute. Okay, so there's one. Then she also has, I believe, in the same video. She has, oh, actually I don't have any more notebooks, I use them all, but basically it's kind of like the same as this one, but it's smaller. 
and she uses the one with the colored paper where it has bright like neon colors different colors inside but I prefer the white so I only picked up the white but basically the same thing I'm just I'm gonna have to like adhere or put some score tape at the top because I use my ATG but it's not really holding well up here but it, everything else is so here's one and two and then these ones don't have a like a journaling card on them because I ran out of all the like the good ones and then these are the other two that I made and this one ha do have the journaling cards here so I made four of these then I made <clears throat> I made these sets of notebooks or notepads so again she has all the tutorials up but these ones are also from Dollar Tree and it's using these mini writing tablets it comes five in a pack for a dollar so they're perfect for craft, for craft fair items or cheap gifts you take them apart and basically she has a video where she shows that she wraps the paper around, puts a cute journaling card here, and that's your um, writing tablet. I only decorated the front. They, they're going to come in a set of th um, three pack, and then I'm going to put some ribbon. So here's the first set that's going to come together, so only the top one is decorated. And then here's the next, the next set. And this one I used, this collection came with a bunch of tags and I didn't use, I didn't use most of them. I'll show you every, all the pieces of paper I have left, but um, it, it, I kind of left most of the tags. And this one I just put, it also came with the, in the cut apart sheet, it came with a bunch of these strips of phrases. So all I did was cut this one up and arranged it. So it would fit so I, you know so I could have like a phrase on the blank journaling card or journaling tag here's the next one and I did use a couple of the tags I'm not good at using the tags guys I just I need kind of need help I'm not sure if it looks good or not but again I use another one of those cut apart little little words and then the last set this one this is just using the regular journaling cut apart so I love this paper right here you don't even need to decorate it it's already pretty like really pretty I only decorated like the top one like I said and also you know the more blank less um, busy prints okay so I got one two three four sets of those which is 12 of these little writing tablets I just the only thing I have left to do is to package them put the ribbon and then package them all right okay this one I'm not done with this one but basically it's gonna be a mini traveler's journal so I still need to laminate the top cover um, put the elastics and the elastic round. Um, these are perfect. Puppy. Sorry, it's my kid playing. <laughs> um, these are perfect for craft fair items because you use the. Let me see if I have some. Yeah. Okay, so you use these three in a pack. You can get these at Dollar Tree as well. I only found one this week this week when I went, but I had some in my stash already and I tried to get them from Walmart because the same pack, three for for um, in a pack come at Walmart, I believe like I'm, I'm, I want to say 87 cents maybe. It's less than a dollar, so it's a better deal. And I know Dollar General has some, but I don't know how much they are there. 
But um, see what I did is I actually divided one into two. So these two notebooks was actually just one of those. And instead of, I usually do travel, I do traveler's notebooks and I usually put three inserts, but this one has four just because they're thinner. And I still have to round the corners here. And I have a lot of the elastic that I get from Dollar Tree as well, which is thinner than the one that I use for my normal traveler's notebooks. So now I can, I have a project that I can use that elastic in because, you know, since this is smaller, you can use the smaller elastic, I think. And I can use it up and then it's, you know, it's, it's, it's less than the, my other, um, elastic, which is a little bit more pricey. Okay. Um, moving on. Okay. So I did one post-it note cover, but I didn't, I didn't finish it because I need like a Velcro dot right here. And I just didn't want to look for it, so I haven't finished it. But basically, this is what it looks like. I used cardstock and then matted it with the pattern paper. And I think it looks pretty. You can make a ton of these, but I only made one, like I said. And then, these were my first ones. First project and my favorite, but also not done. Okay, so... I'm going to show you what it is first. Okay, so these are some notepad holders using these same writing tablets. So you get two into one of these holders. So in Amber's tutorial, she has a ribbon that goes under this first piece of paper, first layer of paper. It goes around and you can tie a ball right here. And that's how I did my first ones like two years ago when I first did the project. Um, last year when I redid them, I ended up modifying them. I actually laminated the cover. And so all this would be laminated. And then that makes it um more durable especially if you're gonna give them to somebody who wants to put them in their purse like these ones okay she i've seen some other tutorials where they glue let me see if i can find one did I, I did a couple let's see yeah this one you glue the entire thing to the back and that's you know it holds it perfectly and you know you just need a closure and then no no fuss but in some of these are really pretty I, I just really would hate to see them thrown away after they're used so um, Amber does show in her tutorial uh, how to make the pocket she makes it all the way down to make a pocket so it can meet um, it could be reusable all right, so, but when I did them last year, I was having a hard time putting this in and out that some of them ended up without any of the back cover. Like, they just fell because I was trying to put it in. It was just so tight. The pocket was so tight. Um, you can always make this back um, bigger so you can put, like, an um, a quarter score tape rather than this one. It's just, like, a little tiny one. But now this one is falling apart, as you can see. And you can make it bigger, like I said, to make the tape bigger. But the, the cool thing about doing these projects is that this only takes one 8.5 by 11 regular cardstock sheet. Cut it in half and that makes two holders. If you were to make it bigger, like if you were to... Where's my paper? I think I put it away. So I had an eight and a half by eleven sheet, but I think I put it away. Okay, so if you, if you have the eight and a half by eleven and you decide to cut it this way to make it bigger, then you can only get one holder out of one sheet, and then you have a, a like a scrap here or and a scrap here. You end up with scrap. Um, with this one, you just cut it in half. That gets, gives you two holders, and you don't have any scraps left over. 
so I like that um, but like I said I was having a hard time putting the notebook in and I just thought well if these are going to be reusable when that person tries to take it out it's going to fall apart or something I don't know so what I did is I laminated them last year and that way I didn't have to put I don't even remember if I put adhesive or I just laminated it and then the plastic held it together I don't remember but you basically cut a slit and then that you, you can reuse it and it it holds more in the purse this will come with the pen also but now um the the reason I don't do the ribbon is just like me personally I don't like to fumble with like that bow like if it was for me going into my purse I would hate to do the I could probably cut off the ribbon because I don't want to be messing with the bow my fa I asked my I told my family that last year and then they were like oh the bow looks cute like they like it so if you do do it with the ribbon um, I think people will still like it but I did a traveler's notebook style so I actually after I laminated it I went ahead and used my Dollar Tree elastic ribbon and I went ahead and put the hole and that was just like an easier um, closure for me and so I'm gonna take all these off and laminate them I just didn't do it at first because I thought oh I'm not gonna laminate these to keep them you know more cost efficient and but I feel like these are too pretty to throw away after you're done using them and especially you know since these are falling apart I feel like I'm just gonna laminate them I'm gonna go ahead and show you the front covers of all of them so here's one this is using one of those tags and here's another one and this is using also one of those cut aparts from the the strips of phrases that they have and then here's another one and then here's another one so these journaling cards that say like notes and like this these are perfect for you all the notepads all the, all the notepads um, I didn't not I didn't like using them when it came to the cards because you know a card that just says notes so I try to use these with all the note taking ones and then here's another one this is really pretty it says today's date you are my sun my moon and all my stars and then these are my two favorite ones this one with the butterflies and then this one with this journaling card that says fall in love with as many things as possible yeah that is my favorite one okay so this i made two three four five one two three four. i made ten of these okay so let me put them over here so besides the paper pad I did um, bring with me some cardstock for the matting on some of them, like this one, and this one, and these ones. Okay. Almost done. So, uh, when I was done like making most of the projects, uh, I used the rest of my 12 by 12 sheets one has adhesive on the front um, for cards she has a tutorial the same person Amber <laughs> how to make a card and envelope set using just one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and let me tell you that I did not even know it was one sheet of 12 by 12 paper until I actually started watching the tutorial I sat down with the intention that she was using I mean with the thought that she was using one sheet for the envelope with scraps left over and then one sheet for this because I did see that her card sets were matching 
and because I had used a lot of paper for all of these, I thought that I was going to have to do like mix and match because I didn't have two sheets of any of them, which I think it still looks gorgeous. Honestly, like look at that. That set looks really pretty. But um, I may actually interchange them because I feel like this one is like too plain maybe. But if you like mix it like that and then this really pretty flower one with this plain one like i don't know i don't know yet i still have to order all these leaves i'm having a hard time choosing or um deciding because you have to invest a lot in the plastic sleeves and so i haven't placed an order yet but anyway so uh, what i realized is that she used just one sheet to make the envelope and with the scrap she made the card and then um, there were like another set of scraps which she made tags out of. I did make some tags but I used the other pieces for mat like they were about this big so it was perfect to like make these notebooks and use this the background for it and I believe it, it may have, have even been enough to do the back. I think it was like just the right size to do the back. I think that's what I used. I don't remember. But basically, I made a lot more than these. I made about 12 more, but I'll show you those in a second. These are the ones I'm going to be selling separately. Like this will be in like $1. I mean, one set. And then the other ones, I paired them up. But, um, or it's going to be a set. But anyways, perfect. <laughs> I just... This was my favorite project probably because it was the easiest, the easiest thing. When I sat down to do it, I thought it was going to be harder. Honestly, I thought it was going to take me so long. That's why I hadn't done this since I saw her video like, like last year or maybe the year before. I just thought it was going to be, I just, I felt lazy making cards like this. I sat down and cut all the like all my sheets that I had left over because I had done most of this already. I sat down and cut it in like, I don't even know, like maybe five minutes, ten minutes in the day. And I just left it there ready for me to work at night. When it was time to work, because I, I work watching Netflix. So uh, like after I'm done with everything, we're all showered and I'm watching Netflix with my husband. We're, um, I'm sitting down doing these. I did most of these like scored because I cut all the paper in the day so I, I had to do was score these and score these and glue and I was done like it's like 20 minutes maybe but it was only let's see one two three four five maybe it was less than 20 cards but I was done so quick that now I want to do one paper pad just like she did she did like three paper pads and now I want to do a whole one just this, just this project because it's so easy. You can get a lot done when you don't really feel like doing a lot of cutting, a lot of thinking, mixing and matching papers, using a lot of tools. This is the perfect project because you can use up your paper. And especially some of those papers that me personally, I sometimes get paper that it looks pretty, but then when it comes to working with it, I don't feel inspired to do anything. And one of the sheets, one of the paper pads that she used was the coffee one from Michael's, the Hot Pies. I did uh, buy that. But I didn't really fall in love with the colors. It was too dark for me. So I haven't done anything with that paper. I'm thinking of putting some paper aside for a future traveler's notebook. But after that, I think I'm going to use the entire paper pad on just cards. Because everybody like likes coffee cards. I mean, likes coffee and likes cards. So that's perfect. But anyway, sorry for talking so much about this project. I just thought I wasn't going to like it. And I ended up loving it. So without further ado, here's your card and envelope set and then just one journaling card from the same cut aparts that you get with the paper and it's perfect this one is actually a tag which is what is it it's like this tag it's exactly the same tag but I just cut off the tag part and then I use a piece of scrap for this back because I was running out of journaling cards so I did this and I actually like it. All good things are wild and free and I think it matches perfectly with the, butterfl the butterflies in the back. 
And then this one just has some pretty flowers here. And then this one I used this same cut apart from earlier and I actually used it on the same pattern. I just liked it because I didn't want to cover up the flower. But I also put this one on some foam tape. I think it looks really cute popped up. And then um, matted with another piece of the pattern paper. And this one with the cute butterflies. And then my other fav the favorite journaling card. And then this one, I did cut up another um, one of those sheets that has, it's just a long strip with this whole saying and then you just cut it up and make a, a card out of that. And I actually ended up with a bunch of those left over, but those can be used for anything. I feel like they match, they could match a lot more collections than just this. Okay, almost done. Okay. So on my Instagram, I shared another project that I did using Amber's, one of Amber's tutorials that she did um, earlier this year. She had a different tutorial um, a couple years ago when I, or last year when I first did them, but then it's a good way to use your matching papers with matching cards that we all get. I have a ton. Um, I was running out of storage space and with, uh, with this project, I actually used up a lot of my cards a couple of weeks ago um, but I only used the ones that I had matching paper with matching cards and envelopes um, this one didn't have the matching uh, cards so I just I used the same idea for these and I just put some in pairs I mean not in pairs in sets of six and I just went ahead and put them in one of these I haven't I haven't glued this one I mean, these two, I haven't glued them. But basically, I just did the same thing. You know, I used the, the same paper to make these. And then I just paired up six of them here. I mean, three envelopes, three cards here. And then three and three here. So make six in this set. And so journaling cards. And like I said, I was running out of journaling cards. I just made, use the pattern and then some of the tags. And then this one. This one, um, I had to get some journaling cards from my own stash because I was out completely. So this is just a regular pro uh, Project Life card that I just cut up. And then I just have to glue the sides. And this is using one 12 by 12 sheet for the this. One 12 by 12 sheet for this. And then the part that you have left over, like your scrap from this one, you use on this side. And then your scrap from this side, you use on this side. And then you can use one 12 by 12, cut it into four pieces, and then use it for one cover here and one cover here. I just did it two separate patterns just so they'd be different. And I also use just pieces for my scraps to make these um, just a little bit of... Um, pattern here and then the larger journaling cards they were four that were too too big for anything else so it's perfect for the first thing that I showed you and for these and I also did cut them up a little bit and rounded the corners put some gem stickers and these are good to go for the bigger pieces of scraps oh this is what I did with the car the scraps from the cards okay so I did, I'm going to laminate these and these are going to be bookmarks. So I'm going to laminate them and I'm going to put some ribbon. I may round the corners. But basically some of the scraps at the end I'm like what should I do because I was tired. I just wanted to finish the paper pad. So this is what I did. I did uh, bookmarks. And then for the smaller pieces. Again, scraps. I didn't want to do the tags, but I had so many scraps, I just did not want, know what to do with them. So I just did tags. I used my Paper Studio Punch to make these. These are two inches. These were cut to two by four. They were a lot of scraps that were already this two by four, so you didn't have to cut it down. They were already that size. Some of the bigger ones I did cut down just to have them the same size. So basically, yeah, these are the, all the scraps. I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to package them. Maybe instead of, 
in sets of 12 maybe I'm not sure but if it's sets of 12 you can get easily I 